Hi and welcome to the part 2 of interview questions and answers on core java from careerite.com. What kind of exceptions occur during serialization? Exceptions that occur during serialization are a transient fields b when the base class is serialized then only base class fields are handled c static fields are ignored because they are not part of any stage can a top level class be private or protected no a top level class can neither be private nor protected if it does not have a modifier it is supposed to have a default access so it can be public or no modifier differentiate between preemptive scheduling and time slicing under preemptive scheduling it is the highest priority task which is executed until it enters the waiting or dead state or a high priority task under time slicing a task executes for a predefined slice of time and then enters the pool of ready tasks the scheduler then determines which task should execute next based on priority and other factors is there any difference between synchronized methods and synchronized statements the method used to control access to an object is called synchronized method it is only executed by a thread after it has acquired the lock for the method's object or class synchronized statements are similar to synchronized methods a synchronized statement can only be executed after a thread has acquired the lock for the object or class referenced in the synchronized statement so there is not much difference between synchronized methods and synchronized statements how do applets communicate with each other applets may communicate with other applets running in the same virtual machine if the applets are of the same class they can communicate via shared static variables if the applets are of different classes then each will need a reference to the same class with static variables mention the default values of all the elements of an array defined as an instance variable if the array is an array of primitive types then all the elements of the array will be initialized to the default value corresponding to that primitive type whereas if the array is an array of references all the elements will be initialized to null example all the elements of an array of int will be initialized to zero while that of boolean type will be initialized to false what are some alternatives to inheritance to include an instance of another class as an instance variable and forward messages to the instance is an alternative to inheritance which is also called delegation usually it is safer than inheritance because it forces you to think about each message you forward because the instance is of a known class rather than a new class it doesn't force you to accept all the methods of the super class on the other hand it makes you write more code and it is harder to reuse state the difference between creating string as new and literal when we create string with new it is created in heap and not added into string pool while string created using literal are created in a string pool which exists in perm area of heap what is dynamic method dispatch dynamic method dispatch which is also known as runtime polymorphism is a process in which a call to an overridden method is resolved at runtime rather than at compile time in this process an overridden method is called through the reference variable of a superclass the determination of the method to be called is based on the object being referred to by the reference variable can you force garbage collection garbage collection can't be forced it can explicitly be called using system.gc but there is no guarantee that garbage collection will be started immediately what are native methods native methods are the methods implemented in other languages like c these methods can be used in java classes using jni api what is bytecode 
the java class file contains bytecode which is being interpreted by jvm bytecode is introduced in java to provide java as a platform independent language what is the difference between this and super keyword this refers to current object instance while super refers to the member of super class of the current object instance what do you mean by class path environment variables it is the list of directories which are used by jvm to find a class string versus string buffer class string class is immutable which means it can't be modified once declared string buffer is not immutable which means strings can be appended to the original string what is the use of string tokenizer class this class is used to break the string into tokens array list versus vector array lists methods are not synchronized which means they are not thread safe vectors methods are synchronized which means they are thread safe what is a throwable class it is a super class of all errors and exceptions in java what is the significance of finalize method the finalize method of an object is called when garbage collector is about to clean up the object we can clean up code in finalize block what is object serialization it is the process of writing the contents of an object to a file and vice versa what is the significance of keyword transient the transient keyword is used within the object's member that need not be serialized define inner class in java class that is nested within a class is called as inner class the inner class can access private members of the outer class it is mainly used to implement data structure and sometimes called as a helper class what is connection pooling it is the technique which allows a connection object to be shared by multiple clients thus improving programs performance what is jar file jar is a java archived file which allows many files to be stored all applets and classes can be stored in a jar file thereby reducing the size jar files can be created using the jar command that comes with jdk what is the difference between yielding and sleeping sleep holds the thread execution for specified time on the other hand yield will cause the thread to rejoin the queue when a task is invoked in yielding it returns to the ready state while when a task is invoked in sleeping it returns to the waiting state constructors versus regular methods constructors have same name as the class and cannot return a value they are called only once while regular methods can be called as many times as required difference between a url instance and a url connection instance a url instance is used to represent the location of a resource on the other hand a url connection instance is used to represent a link for accessing communication with the resource at the location what is the purpose of runtime class runtime class provides access to the java runtime system some of the other services provided by this class are writing to console output reading from the keyboard as input interaction with jvm process reading writing system properties and environment variables executing other programs from within java apps what is the difference between a static and a non static inner class a static inner class does not have any object instances a non static inner class can have object instances that are associated with instances of the class outer class what is the resource bundle class resource bundles contain local specific objects a program can load local specific objects from the resource bundle as per the current users local this makes the program free of the local specific clutter and the programmer can focus on logic what are the advantages of resource bundle resource bundle allows programs to be easily localized or translated into different languages be easily modified later to support even more locales handle multiple locales simultaneously what is the key feature of 
array implementation in vector class a vector class implements the dynamic array that can grow and shrink at run time it resembles the implementation of array list with the difference that vector is synchronized how are this and super used with constructors this constructor is invoked within a method of a class if the execution of the constructor is to be done before the functionality of that method super constructor is used within the constructor of the subclass as the very first statement this process is used when the super class constructor is to be invoked first when the subclass object is instantiated every time what is the purpose of finalization finalization is provided by java for classes that use native resources perform clean up before the objects are subjected to garbage collection the native resources are beyond the control of java's garbage collector the responsibility of cleaning up the native allocations depends on the object's finalization code finalization is done so that the native resources are not left in the memory even after the java instances are terminated by garbage collector what is synchronization and why is it important describe synchronization in respect to multi threading threads communicate by sharing access to fields and the objects however due to threading there is a possibility of thread interference and memory inconsistency synchronization is used to prevent this in synchronization if an object is visible to more than a thread all reads or writes to that object's variables are done through synchronized methods differences between a vector and an array a vector is a dynamic array whose size can be increased whereas an array size cannot be changed reserve space can be given for vector whereas for arrays it cannot be a vector is a class whereas an array is not vectors can store any type of objects whereas an array can store only homogeneous values what is a user defined exception at times depending on the need of a program a programmer might need to create his own set of exceptions these exceptions are called as user defined exceptions the user defined exception class should extend from exception class you may override the to string method in order to display a user friendly message what are the different ways to generate an exception there are three ways in which the exceptions can be generated one the jvm can generate exceptions which are beyond the control of the user two a few standard exceptions that can be generated due to an error in the program and which need to be handled manually three the third way is to directly throw an exception explain try catch and finally blocks the try block is the region of code where exceptions can get produced so most of the code of execution lies in this region the catch block is where an exception is caught the action to be performed upon catching the exception is stated in this block usually a user friendly message is displayed here the finally block is the region where the code that needs to be executed under any circumstances written this is usually used to perform a clean up example freeing the resources etc if the finally clause executes a return statement it overrides a thrown exception what is the purpose of the finally clause of a try catch finally statement the finally block is the region where the code that needs to be executed under any circumstances written the purpose of this block is usually performing the clean up activities explain the purpose of garbage collection that the jvm uses garbage collection in java identifies and discards the objects that are no longer needed by a program so that their resources can be reclaimed and reused a java object is subject to garbage collection when it becomes unreachable to the program in which it is used the finalize method is called by garbage collector when it determines no more references to the object exists what is java p the java p is a command 
that disassembles a class file. It prints out the package, protected and public fields and methods of the classes passed to it to std out. This output is formed when no option is stated with Java P. That is, output depends on the options used. When do we need to flush an output stream? If any bytes are previously written and have been buffered by the implementation of the output stream, then such bytes need to be immediately written to their intended destination. This is where flush needs to be used. It flushes this output stream and forces any buffered output bytes to be written out.